let's take a little break of my painting. Uh, I'm building a porch, if you can see. Wait a second. There you go. Here on the top, I'm building a, I'm building a nice porch uh, next to my house. So I can have a dry area where I can work out on some things when I need. Uh, but I wanted to show you how you can create your own tabletops for pretty much next to nothing. So let's move on. Right. Uh, oops. So the idea of a tabletop, it's uh, I know you can buy your own, obviously, backdrops and uh, vinyl drop backdrops and anything. Uh, I'm using a lot and I will do a video about uh, budget backdrops, uh, vinyl backdrops and the paper backdrops and DIY backdrops for product photography. But there's one thing which you need uh, and it's a really... Uh, well, I'm holding this camera, let me just put it down. Okay, that's better. Ignore the mess, ignore my uh, scruffiness, but uh, as I say I'm doing DIY, I'm building a porch next to my house. However, so what I was saying, yes, uh, a bit of windy today. So what you can do, you can uh, buy vinyl backdrops, you can buy paper like uh, from any kind of a craft store, you can create your own from fabrics, even from uh, old clothes. And I'm not joking, but this is going to be the subject of another video. Today I wanted to show you about tabletop uh, made from laminate flooring. So all you need, uh, all you need is basically something to cut the boards, obviously, a pen, a tape measure, which it's not here, I'll go and grab it, and your laminate. So that's all you need. And uh, basically I've cut this already, but it's a little bit longer than what I want. So instead of me assembling every time and putting it like, a, you know, you can put it like this together and assemble every time, but uh, you having this issue. If you want to lift it up or move it, you need to dismount it or it's gonna just obviously dismount it. So what I want is to be one all, like a full uh, tri rectangle, whatever it's called. And then we're gonna stick it to this wood. We're gonna cut exactly the size what it's uh, with the backdrop and we're gonna stick it with the no nails, uh, like a glue. Leave it to dry and then I'm gonna have one full backdrop. Okay, so uh, before I start, just so you know, you don't need any special tools for this. You just need, uh, obviously, something to cut. Uh, you don't need an electrical one. Come on, it's just a laminate. And the first things what I want to do, it's obviously the laminate boards have these sides on, on both sides, which it's uh, basically to where the laminate it's... Uh, connecting to the other one so we're gonna cut them out and we're gonna start from the other side when it's the black one one thing measure from the top okay and cut from the top because cutting from the back of the laminate you're risking to break the texture on the side not a big deal because it's gonna be the end of your uh, tabletop but it's nice to keep it clean all right so 80 centimeters for me because that's what it's my backdrops so I'm gonna go on 80 this one needs to be cut as well so I know I cut it before for something else but uh, it's too big All right so I'm gonna measure them and just gonna speed up here a little bit Okay, I've got the first piece, so what's happened now, I'm just gonna assemble them and then make the measure on the other side, cut them, and then I'll show you how to put them together, that's it. Right. Uh, Measured now this piece which is gonna left on the side. It's about What is it 58 centimeters so not long enough, but 
I will keep these pieces because I may use them like for a small set of something which I can basically just place a small product and do uh, photography and also they don't need to be put together they can ju just be dismounted and just leave it on the side and only use them where I need them basically so let's cut this one We're done. So I have these two pieces left, which is the shortest piece. I can just leave them as they are at the moment. I'm absolutely fine with this one. So, next step is to turn everything around, measure the wood which is going to keep this together and glue it. And that's it. I'm actually tired of cutting. Whew. You don't need to get crazy buying some wood. You can find anything. As far as it's, a, it's strong enough so you can glue on the back and keep your boards together. So we have here... Now we have 58 centimeters and the wood is 120. So it's a bit... It's a little bit out, but... That's absolutely fine. So if I can cut it in half, I can put one here in the middle, one here, and I'm done. I don't know if you can hear the noise kids next door playing, so it's absolutely fine. Uh, Alright, let's measure it. Lovely. Now don't forget, you need to get probably some little bit of sand paper just to sand it on the end, uh, but you can do this after. So now, all I need to do is grab my, uh, that's called no nails, so if you're in UK you know what I mean, I presume you have, whatever you are, you have something like that, don't know if it's the same name, but we're just gonna give it a nice good like a little snake all around that's basically what you need guys you don't need much because end of the day this is gonna be in your studio or home or whatever you're taking your pictures you won't travel anywhere I mean I presume you won't travel anywhere and close it and now we're just gonna stick this from inside starting from the front following the line let's put it like that nicely and we do the other one And obviously here is the crucial part, uh, you have to put something heavy on top of it and leave it for a few hours or leave it overnight so you get proper stick to the backdrop. Uh, I need to find a uh, few bricks in my garden which I have lying out, yeah, they lying around, just a moment. Okay, I found one, I'll go find another one, but this is it pretty much, guys. So in the next video, when, I'm, uh, when I introduce you to some uh, fantastically priced vinyl backdrops, uh, I really want to show you, because the company which is selling them, I don't have nothing to do with them, uh, there's no affiliate, there's nothing, it's just I bought few, as I do with everything before I do review on YouTube, or uh, kind of recommend to you and I've done some pretty sick pictures, okay? You can see how cool it's look this and uh, how fantastic they perform uh, when, you, when you do these pictures. So, I will introduce you to these backdrops and I'll show you some kind of a DIY from a craft paper and stuff like that and then you're gonna see this in action. I've already took uh, many pictures on it. As you can see, I have pictures from my other channel and from my Instagram. Uh, I have an Instagram uh, 
which it's all about cocktails. What else I do? I have a channel, Just Shake or Steer, which it's uh, one making a cocktails every week, two or three times a week. Welcome back to Just Shake or Steer, guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name is George, and today I have something special for you to get you going through the weekend and through the summer. Today, I will show you how to do the six easy vodka cocktails. So if you're ready, let's crack on. So if you're interested, you can follow. But yeah, you can see pictures used with uh, kind of a laminate tabletops. And yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna find another brick now. I'm gonna put it there and then come back here and plant my tomatoes. That's life. So yeah. Let's finish here. Yeah, that's my greenhouse when I have lovely tomatoes waiting for me to plant. So, until next time, guys, if you enjoy this video, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe because many things coming your way, as always. It's just the beginning. My name is George. Thank you for watching, and uh, it's been a pleasure. I hope I inspire you to go to your DIY store, spend less than uh, $30, and create, start creating your your own tabletops uh, and backdrops for photography product photography or whatever you do just go and get creative okay stay safe uh, enjoy doing whatever you're doing and i'll see you in the next video until then i love you and i leave you bye bye